guys, it's Miss Stun Event. Um, yesterday we started talking about simple machines. So today we're gonna get more in depth with that and we're gonna pick another one and we're gonna actually talk specifically about a lever. And I'm gonna read this to you guys. So a lever is a long, sturdy body that rests on a support called a fulcrum. There are actually three different types of levers. So we've got our class one lever, which has a fulcrum in between the effort and the load. We've got a class two, where the levers have the fulcrum located at one end, uh, the effort at the other, and the load somewhere in between. And we've got class three levers, which have the fulcrum at one end, the load at the other end, and the effort in between making the effort it takes to move the load greater than the load itself. And don't worry, if all of this sounds like, what is Miss Dunham talking about? I'm gonna show you pictures after we read this, so don't you worry. So, with that in mind, the types of levers, what types of levers are the following examples of? So, a simple can or bottle opener, a diving board, a seesaw, a fishing rod, nail clippers, a hammer, when you pull a nail out of a board with the claw end, a snow shovel. So those are all things that we're just gonna think about. We're not gonna answer them right now. We'll come back to this in a little bit. But, so we've just talked about levers. So now on our video, I'm gonna put up some examples of a class one, a class two, and a class three. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so I'm gonna give you an example of a simple machine lever. So what we've got here is a pair of scissors, which is actually a simple machine and a lever. So on this part of our scissors here, that is where we call the effort. That's where the effort goes. So we put the effort in by moving it with our hands and it makes our job easier. Then right here, this point, this is our fulcrum where everything comes from that's where the where it all moves from and then where the scissor part is that is our load and so as you see we've got our simple machine that makes our job of cutting so much easier so that is just one example so if you try this please be careful um, thanks Hey guys, so all right, what we're gonna do to make a simple machine today is you're gonna need a few things because we're actually gonna make almost like a seesaw sort of dealio. So I have a piece of cardboard left over from yesterday's project. I have these two little empty cups. You could do plastic cups, whatever. Mine are like old little candle holders that I took apart. Um, we will also need popsicle sticks or since I don't know where my popsicle sticks are you can use another piece of cardboard from yesterday's project so that's what I'm gonna do because I don't know where I put my popsicle sticks so I'm gonna make that into sort of a line and I'm gonna tape them together or you could use glue I just happen to like tape because I feel like it's a lot quicker so I'm gonna make my piece right here, tape it together so you see it's all together. And get the other side. Okay. 
There we go. So we've got our one piece. I'm gonna trim that up because I think it looks ugly. There we go. So we've got our board piece. So now what we wanna do is kind of make our fulcrum here. So I'm gonna do that by making a triangle and putting it on top of the straight piece. Um, again, if you find a cooler project that you're looking at with your parent that you wanna try, feel free. This was just what was easy for me to manage with the things that I had around my house. So making our fulcrum here. Right. So we've got our fulcrum and this doesn't have to look pretty. Mine certainly will not. So now I'm gonna need another piece of tape here. Probably a couple more pieces, but start with that. And on top of our fulcrum, I'm gonna go ahead and put our tape and I'm gonna put our straight board. So this is going to be load bearing. So I don't know if I have anything that's super heavy, but we're gonna find out. So, and this might work better if you have popsicle sticks, but we're gonna try to be creative by doing this with sort of paper products. So, I'm gonna put a piece of tape right here and put my little spot on there. And actually, I'm gonna attach this to the counter so it doesn't move. There we go. So, now we need to put our other piece on here. And I actually don't know if what I thought was going to be heavy enough. So right here, we've got our fulcrum. So one side's going to be our effort and one side's going to be our load. I'm gonna use this lemon because it's here. So if I set this lemon inside there, it tilts to one side. This is our load side. Our effort side is right here. So if I switched these out, this would be our load side and this would be our effort side. So hopefully that was fun for you guys, but we made our own seesaw lever. Great job.